What's up guys, it's Sergeant Mintus and we're going to be unboxing this Predator AO water cooler from Predator. This is the 360 version and this is the reason why I had to take my PC apart. This is the RV1.1 version, the revision version, because this part here, well this is the diagram, is that they have a seal in it and that broke down or it didn't seal properly. So first we're going to open this up, see where we the tags are, open it. These are pretty fragile so you've got to be relatively quite careful how you open them. And yes I'm recording on 4K, that's a bit boggy. Sound actually because you're like facing toward my wall so <laughs> might have a little bit of a deterioration. Box. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have that issue. I'm pretty sure I slammed it down my arms. First, you have these little packs to show you how to fit them in. You know. I might have to refill my loop just because my loop previously took a piss all over my graphics card. So I'll be happy if my graphics card is still full of water. So as you can see, they've done a pretty good job on packaging alone. Yeah. Everything fits snug, so nothing's going to jump around and smash up and stuff. So let's filter that so we can get a better zoom on that. As you see, you get a back plate and a revisory back plate actually, because this didn't, this wasn't actually included in the last one. They give you like a gasket, but now they actually give you a rubber gasket. I'm not 100 sure what this is for. I'm sure the rubber gasket would be for the AMD processors, but you got a back plate, which is usually for the um, 2011 motherboards. Um, you have your panel cable, SATA cable, from right, yep, it's for connecting up the uh, ports. Before they never come with all these little adapters, it was all pre-assembled. So this is going to take a bit more time, but obviously we can get past that little time barrier. But yeah, as you see this is the actual CPU part of the wall part. Or cool part. <laughs> this is what they call the cold plate. Got a stick on it so you don't get dirty. But my main issue is that last time it leaked by there. Like the gasket was completely naffed. And this time, it's got LED ports in there. You can put LEDs in it. You might not be able to see it properly, but you can see the LED ports. I'm going to focus it on there. Yeah. But yeah, these feel all quite tight now. Before it was loose. Didn't seem cross -threaded. The best thing about this is that they got a quick adapter, a quick disconnect, QDC. Um, all you are doing is basically pushing that in and it's connecting that up. Right, they come with a silica package. This is just to keep water out, obviously. <laughs> the best tip is if you've got a water cooling loop, right, is that you take out these packages and you put it in the bottom of your bay drives. And it stops any. I'm being tangled with water so getting inside the computer. So as you can see, the pump, and I'm sure the reservoir as well, is all in one, bolted directly onto the, the radiator. I'm not sure what the density on this radiator is. Um, I just probably bought it straight from them. As you can see, it's just uh, it's quite dense, I would say, because the array is pretty tight. So the XLC solution predator from EK Water Blocks, you do have a top fill, and I'm sure you had a sub fill somewhere. Yep, you've got another top fill there, on the other side of the radio. And then you have all your plug and play prep hernos, as you can see. 